You got a smile so bright. You know you could have been the candle. I'm holding you so tight. You know you could have been the handle. The way you swept me off. You know you could have been the broom. And baby, you're so sweet. You know you could have been the perfume. Well, you could have been anything that you want me to do, then I could tell. Pop, way you do the things you do. Oh, baby, do the things you do. As pretty as you are, you know you could have been a flower. If good looks were a minute, you know that you could have been an hour. The way you stole my heart, you know you could have been a crew. And baby, you're so smart. You know you could have been a scoop. I can't stop. I gotta stop. I gotta stop. I've been listening to Motown for today, and I'm talking about it has really, really touched my soul and brought me back to the days of my youth. Listening to all the young black teens. Doing their things and young people. I mean, uh, starting and creating a phenomena that would just go on and touch so many of our lives. That's the soundtrack to a lot of our um, our our, um, our youth. A lot of us, especially those of us that grew up in the Midwest. I mean, come on, if you're from Chicago, Detroit. Milwaukee, Ohio, in any any one of them um, Midwest, you really had it bad because um, <laughs> I mean, and they, I mean, they were all over Chicago. How could I forget y'all? But the thing about it is, the way they hit for the Midwest was something. It was just something. And I want to thank uh, Barry Gordy and all of y'all at that Motown for help creating, a, you know, a, um environment where we felt proud as young black kids. And um, although your music wasn't geared for young black kids, it was just, like you said, the, the sound of America. Because everybody latched on to what the product that y'all had out there. So for that, I want to thank y'all because you you definitely uh, sketched something in my heart and in my mind. So, now let's get on with stirring. Let's, let's talk about this. You know, because it's very important. Uh. Mm -hmm. Okay, y'all. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening to you. Y'all know this has gone too far. Mystical was arrested again for grapes, robbery, and uh, four other charges in Louisiana after alleged hospital incident. Now, this marks the third damn time that the 51-year-old Grammy nominee was arrested for grapes. Uh, born Michael Tyler, he has yet to see a judge and no bond has been set. The troubled hip-hop star, star was scheduled to perform uh, September 3rd. Now, where there's smoke, there's fire. And now I'm at the point where... Um, Dude, what's this all about, dude? What is this all about? Why are you constantly 
You are a predator. I mean, uh, it. Something is going on upstairs. You just spent eight. I mean, before that, it said, uh, "You." I mean, he got a daughter, twenty-three, and a son, twenty-two. Yet, you are out here, and you're being charged with the most insane acts. This kidnapping stuff. What's up with that? Uh, you he was charged with simple robbery, domestic abuse, battery, strangulation, false imprisonment, and simple criminal damage to property? Are you kidding me? Uh, uh, he previously spent 18 months in the Cato Correction Center from 2017 to 2019 for first degree grapes and second degree kidnapping, which were ultimately dismissed due to lack of evidence. Now that was in 2020. Okay. So I was like, okay, see, you know, people do all types of stuff, you know, but then again, coming from the hood, y'all know anything goes. But before that, he was a U.S. Army combat engineer. And he served 81 days in East Baton Rouge Parish Jail in 2012 on a misdemeanor, a misdemeanor charge of domestic battery. Okay? Then he served also six years at the Elan Hunt Correctional Center but. uh sexual battery, extortion against his hairstylist, as well as two misdemeanor counts of failing to file tax return for 98 um, and 99. Now, with that being said, this right here is it's just not a good look. Not a good look. And um, not a good look at all. At this point, you are here looking like a predator for real. Because it's always the same type of stuff. Ugh, and I got a serious problem with that. I don't know. What y'all think? What y'all think about this whole thing? Where there's smoke, there's fire? Or somebody just blaming something on him? Or do we really got ourselves a real life predator out here? Let me know in the comments section below. That's insane. Insane.